Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. I'm gonna start by showing you my colors. Uh, this is a copper, golden iridescent fine copper mixed with folk art antique copper. That is uh, Arteza Cerulean Blue mixed with a bit of phalo green. That is also Arteza Cerulean Blue mixed with a bit of Prussian Blue by Golden Fluid. That is DecoArt Champagne, and I mixed in some, some DecoArt um, Satin Enamel. That's uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Garnet. That's the Americana Garnet. And uh, a bit of blue in there to richen it. That is Extreme Sheen DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. Dick Blick Black and Arteza Paints Gray. This is a painting called Winter Flower. It's a 24 by 36 inch acrylic on canvas. Um, I used a nice level three gallery wrapped canvas. And I am doing a flip cup, which I've been really having fun with this. This is, uh, um, I did a commission like this and I'm, I'm kind of giving it a second run for a few reasons because I'm loving these colors right now very drawn to them in the fall time and I wanted to give her two choices. Uh, looks like she's actually going to take the first one that I did called Firefly. So this one will end up with a coat of resin and is going to be hung uh, this winter in a um, local coffee roasters cafe. So oh, there's my little girl. <laughs> she needed some help with her egg carton. So I, what I did is I layered all those paints in sort of like you would a straight pour but I did a few things a little differently. I've dropped some paints in from up high to have them drop all the way down through the cup, the gold especially. And this is a canvas that I had previously scraped, so that's why it looks that way. Um, but I scraped it clean and made sure it was nice and, and tight and ready to paint on. So I just flipped these four cups, the flip and lip, uh, and yeah, I just love this palette right now. I don't know if it's because it's fall time, but the maroons, um, and I've tried to play with red in the past and ended up with like pink paintings and been really, that's what happened with the one actually that I scraped off of this exact canvas was, um, you know, red got muddled with some white paint and it, it just, so kind of my new rule of thumb with red paint is just not to use any white. I did use that really pretty champagne mixed with a bit of the deco art satin enamel, which doesn't seem to blend. <clears throat> satin enamel is a really friendly paint that way. It doesn't seem to blend with the other pla paints as much. Like it doesn't mix. It just kind of, uh, it can add really pretty cloudy effects. Um, like the cloud pores that you see that Ceramac used to do a lot of and still does but um yeah it's 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 great for effect but so anyhow you guys thank you for tuning in and for um watching my art i love 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 the support and the community um it just is it brings me so much joy i can't tell you uh to share this part of my life with you and um yeah i hope you're enjoying and uh happy as usual to answer any questions I'm gonna I did a <clears throat> so just so you know that that flood layer on the outside was just the black paint um is what I did and just kind of scraped it out to the sides and on the edges to make sure that the paint moves really well uh a canvas a bare canvas when you tilt paint over it the paint has a tendency to kind of roll over on top of itself and when you put a nice layer of paint down around the edges like that, it, uh, it keeps that from happening. So um, I didn't mention my pouring medium. Um, I keep forgetting to mention that. It's, uh, I usually use 70% Floetrol to about 30% GAC800, which is Golden's pouring medium. In this case, I'm using Artist Loft pouring medium which is similar to GAC 800. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it as much. Uh, it doesn't dry quite as, I feel like the, the GAC gives you a little bit more shine, a little bit better finish, but 
that can all be fixed with with varnish and i'm actually going to resin this piece um, i bought some stone coat art resin that i'm going to use and i think it'll look really pretty under resin so enjoy uh, please subscribe hit the bell for not notification it's free to subscribe so no commitment you'll just see a little notification if i have a new painting out so you can come join me again and yeah have a beautiful day you guys morning afternoon evening wherever you're watching from i hope you're well and uh do take great care and we will see you again very soon thank you want to mention I'm going to show you an up close video of the painting while it's still wet and then I did put two coats of resin on this painting so the final images are when it's under resin I just wanted to clarify before you were seeing the final pieces <laughs> <laughs>